booktube this is Lindsay from Lindsay Reads uh, today I'm gonna be doing a tag the nosy librarian tag um, sorry if you if you hear background noise uh, my dog is chomping on a bone so um, I don't know you might be able to pick that up in the background we'll see or my cat meowing I mean not meowing purring one or the other or both <laughs> so anyway um, I, this is the nosy librarian tag and I was tagged by Anthony Andrews so let's get into the questions number one what was the most influential library in your life? And um, when I think of libraries, I immediately think of um, the school libraries, um, like elementary school and middle school. Um, my parents didn't take me to the library as a kid. Um, I just got all my books from the school library. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I would I'm not gonna say the exact small town I lived in, but uh, yeah, my uh, school libraries. Number two, honest assessment. What will they title your biography? And I'm not creative. I can't really think of anything, so I'm just going to go with Lindsay, a life. <laughs> Number three. The story from your life that you most hope your librarian never finds out. Um, and I was thinking about this, and the only thing I can think of is, um, as a kid and a teenager, I would, like, dog ear the pages, which I know no one seems to like. And I don't do it anymore, but, um... I did that even with library books, so I'm going to go with that answer. Number four, what is your favorite word? And I don't really have a word I frequently use. Um, maybe you can tell me when you watch enough of my videos if I'm using a word um, frequently. But I'm going to go with my favorite food, which uh, is uh, curry, Indian food. I love Indian food, so I'm going to say curry. <laughs> Number five, three weird things of which you are afraid in one way in which you prefer not to die. Um, for weird things I'm afraid of, I mean, I have the normal things, like I don't like spiders or snakes or um, stuff like that. But as for odd things, um, I do not like rings, like your uh, like on fingers. Like as a kid, they, I don't know, they really bothered me. You, I would get these like little like kid rings and you put them on. And then I always am, also even now, afraid to like to get them off. Like I always feel like they're gonna get stuck, or you know you have to like butter your butter your hands to get them off. And so I do not wear rings. They, and just yeah, that's one thing I just do not like wearing is rings. Um, and one way in which you prefer not to die is drowning. I don't like that idea of like just like um, not having oxygen and like you know that minute or so or whatever you know before you black out. Like you know you're thinking about it and just like. I, I don't like drowning, the idea of drowning. Um, number six, your favorite book as a grade schooler. And um, I'm going to go with The Secret Garden. Uh, I really liked the movie as a kid, and I um, read the book a bunch. And also, I really liked like, Anna Green Gables series and um, the Little House on the Prairie series. Um, so any of those three, but probably The Secret Garden was my favorite as a, as a kid. Number seven, what have your interactions with the police been like? Um... I, I haven't, like, broken any laws or anything, and I, I don't have any, like, I've never gotten a ticket, but, um, what I can think of is, like, a long story, but, uh, my friend, um, got a ticket at a different state, and, um, I guess the, the uh, ticket never got mailed to her, or, or something happened where she didn't know that she hadn't, uh, paid, uh, she, she didn't know she had a, something due to pay. For some reason and so anyway her um, license was expired and we were driving across country and we got pulled over in Wyoming and this policeman was screaming and yelling and like um, my dog was in the back and he was getting real uh, anxious because of um, and he could pick up on um, like the mood and so he was barking but you know, the windows were up you know he wasn't um, in contact with the police at all. There was no chance of him, like, you know, getting out of the car and, uh, and getting at the policeman. But, uh, the policeman was, like, threatening to shoot the dog, you know, you know, you better keep this dog away. And, you know, we were in the vehicle, you know, there was, there was no way he could have got it, got him. But anyway, yeah, I didn't really like that interaction. Uh, <laughs> that's the only thing I can, like, um, think of besides, you know, just seeing them, you know, drive on the, yeah, I never had any interactions with him besides that, I'm saying. I, I know, like, dialogue. Um, so yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't fun. Um, number eight, all time favorite book cover. And so I was like looking, I'm not really a big cover person cause I read a lot of ebooks. So I'm not really paying attention to the covers, but, um, when I was thinking about like my favorite, uh, childhood book, uh, what popped in my mind was a book I read a couple of years ago. 
And I really like this cover. It's a really nice, like, it looks like a watercolory, like, painted cover. And it's Pioneer Girl by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And I actually have a physical copy. I just didn't go grab it. But it has, it's like a wraparound um, cover with, like, flowers. And, like, it has, like, you know, a picture of her looking at the planes. And then, not just that, but inside the book, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of pictures um, of, like, her family and stuff. And so, yeah, that's, uh, I really like this cover. Uh, and, and this, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on this book. Uh, Pioneer Girl, it's, uh, the, her, like, a manuscript of, uh, the first book she wrote. And so, it has, like, you know, the manuscript, and then it also has, like, annotated, um, uh, descriptions, uh, and history of her family, and, you know, the background of each little, like, snippet of a story, like, you know, explaining where she's, uh, drawing this from. It was really good. If you like the uh, Little House on the Prairie series, then you would like the Pioneer Girl. Uh, let's see. Number nine. How many places have you lived? Well, um, if I go with states, I've lived in uh, Virginia, uh, Nevada, and um, California. If I'm going with cities, um, I lived in a bunch of towns in Virginia, but the city it would be Lynchburg, um, which I mentioned in the Neck of the Woods tag. And then I lived in Las Vegas. Uh, Nevada, and I've lived in Sacramento, California, uh, and a bunch of other towns around there. Um, I lived in San Francisco and LA and a couple bunch of towns over there. So five cities, three states, but in those states, a bunch of little towns. Okay, so number 10. Tag 11 booktubers that you like or admire. Um, so for this, I didn't really um, know who has done this tag and who hasn't done this tag. So, um, if you're watching this uh, video and you haven't done the tag, then I'm tagging you. So, yeah, um, that's the tag. Um, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Thanks, BookTube.